I'm Professor Serena Parekh. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Philosophy and Religion at Northeastern University, and my primary focus of research is social and political philosophy. The situation in the world today is this. There are about 50 million people who live effectively outside of any nation state. And most of the time when we think about politics, and certainly when philosophers think about politics, we tend to assume that everyone belongs to a state. And our rights, our obligations can be conceived of within these state terms. But if you think about it, 50 million people living outside of a state, that's the size of a small country. That's larger than the population of Canada. I want to argue that we do have obligations to refugee based on a more robust conception of responsibility. The other thing I try to do in my research is to really make clear the harm that happens to refugees. Usually we think of refugees as people who have lost the protection of a state. So they've lost this legal protection and often the material protection that goes along with that. But I want to argue that it actually goes on in a much deeper level. If you think about how much your identity is tied to being a member of a particular state, that when that's lost, you suffer a kind of harm that's really intangible. They lose their identity. And part of my research is to argue that this kind of deprivation ought to be considered much more seriously in our normative ethical analysis of the situation, and then consequently in our political analysis. So then the ethical question becomes, you know, how do we treat 50 million refugees? What are our obligations to them? How extensive are they? John Rawls has argued that you know, we can't fight for justice unless we know what justice is. And we don't know what justice is. We've been trying to figure that out for you know, at least 2,000 years, if not longer. So one of the tasks of philosophy is to get clear about what we should be fighting for, to try to figure out you know, you know, what is justice? What would an, a, an ethically good political community be in an ideal situation?